So hello, so today I am going to show you what happens when you apply water to some of your inks. Now this is Noodler's Kiwa Pecan in a Moon Man fountain pen. What I like to do is try out the, um, try out the pen. So we're going to I don't like um, posting my pans. It does. It definitely posts very nice, but I'm just never really got into posting the pens, so. Okay, so it's K-I-O-W-A, pecan. Moon Man, fine. So if you were to draw a picture with it, and you want to, you've seen some of my pictures. Gives you some nice shading. This was the first thing that I did. It, it always um, will run for you. And that's uh, Noodler's Kiwa, Kiwa Pecan, which, yeah, that's nice. And then we have a Hong Dion. Write this down. I am actually writing on watercolor paper. So it's a little um, rougher than if it was regular um, paper. And this is a extra fine point. Um, I love these pens. These are, these are amazing. They come with, they come with a, um, better put some more ink in it too. A converter. <laughs> they come with a converter. <laughs> they write. They write really nice. They're smooth. I love these pens. Okay, so. Alright, so now this one is Noodler's Black. And they call it the bulletproof ink. And what happens with this is you give it a little minute, a little minute to dry. Where are we black? And when you Try to do washing with this it, it's not going to run it will because this isn't but um after a while obviously i'm not giving it much time but after a while it pretty much stays it's really nice but if you were drying uh, Drying a house. Let's put a house on there. And then you'll see that this will, um, 
Give you the shading that you want. Miller's black. The next we have is a golden writ dark mocha. I got this. I got this at. Um, oh god, I can't think of the name of it now. That's pretty nice. And that's how you put ink all over yourself. And that's super cool. And this one is Dark Mocha. It's a Fude. I put a Fude um, um, point uh, nib in this particular Hongdian pen. Uh, fude in uh, Japanese, I believe, is um, brush. So you can get some really thin lines. Turn it over and get a thin line. Heavy lines, and the lower you put it, the heavier the lines. Dark Mocha. All right, well, we're gonna wash that one too. We wash them all. And the real cool thing about this Dark Mocha is it seems to have some green in it. Nice. That's a Hongdian Fu Day. The next we're going to use is uh, uh, Earl Grey Diamine. And we are using, I'll just write it down E A R Earl Grey. And I am using a J, it's a it's called Jin Hao. Uh, and H A. Now when I and this pen, this ink is Diamond. That seems very wet. This is a bold nib on this one. Put a house on this one too. A little bitty house. Just don't get wild with our little hose. Very nice. These pens, when you buy them, you can get a converter in with them too. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to wash down this Earl Grey. Okay, I got a lot of water on my... A lot of water. Now, the Earl Grey has a blue tint to it. And... It's actually a pretty um, solid ink.
I love that Earl Grey. Um, Jin Hao and Earl Grey. And then we have a Pilot Kakuno. And we are using Toasted Walnut. It is a golden red toasted walnut ink. Um, this pilot Kakuno happens to be a fine pen. Very nice pens. These are amazing. Um, yeah, I really like them. I have kind of a, a red So we'll put a little rose on the picture here and Some lines and it loves the watercolor paper too so that's actually pretty cool okay uh, and yes I put names of the ink on my pens because I have like 11 pens and I don't want to mix my colors so I like to keep my colors the whatever color I put in a pen I want to continue to put that same color in the pen and sometimes they look the same Okay, so we'll start with this. And this stuff <clears throat> um, does the same thing. It washes r immensely. So we'll get rid of some water there and put this rose in perspective. So nice. There. And yes, it uh, definitely runs the color. But if you're going for something like that, that really works really nice okay and then I have one last one I want to talk about I want to talk about my pilot Kakuno which is the same as what you just seen except for on this one I used the ink that comes with it when this is empty I am going to fill it with my ink I'm not throwing this away converters can cost a lot of money and it's easier just to use what I have. Now this one is the black ink that comes with it. So we are going to just show you how that is. Pilot. And, and I learned how to not spell it as I turn away. Kuno. Ink cartridge. And this one is another fine. And what happens with that ink it also does the same thing so if you're if you use very little water you get very little bleed but if you're into wanting your inks to run that's you have a lot to it can be a lot of fun to use just your inks. But, so, yeah. There is the, there is the look of all those pens. Hey, thanks for watching. Ah.
I hope you have a great day. Bye.